near a nondescript apartment complex in Fairfax County, Marsha Herndon, a volunteer for Four Paws Rescue Team, heads into a fascinating world hidden in plain sight, a world teeming with life. We are at a community cat feeding station. Crowded in thickets of brush or nestled in cozy parking lot corners throughout the region are colonies of cats living under the radar and in this case, surviving thanks to Herndon. But it's a pretty safe spot for the kitties. Uh, um, they certainly could be a lot worse off than they are here. Um, we have some shelters over here for them that, that I know they use. One kitty just ran over there. And on this day, a rare daytime sighting. Feral cats are generally not fond of human interaction. I used to see feral cats and it really bothered me because I thought about what kind of life they had and um, I just felt compelled to get involved. Herndon is one of a handful of volunteers with Four Paws who feeds these outdoor creatures in a program saving countless cats. I, I have a humane trap here. Lisa Willie, dubbed the Cat Wrangler, heads up this TNR program, which stands for Trap, Neuter, and Return. This county approved practice puts a huge dent in the cat overpopulation crisis. What we try to do is get them trapped so that we can get them spayed and neutered. Then returned to their cat community, where volunteers feed them. We have about five or six cats that come here. Willie knows because she has proof, a lot of proof. Well, we just left fresh food and we're hoping that the kitties will be coming soon after dark and eating it up before any of the raccoons get it. And let's not forget about hungry foxes, too. Willie set up a motion sensor camera to learn more about the colony's size and their movements. By day, we see birds. By night, we see cats. Whether abandoned, dumped, or born into the wild, these felines have a friend in Four Paws, a home-based group that in the 20 years it's been around has rescued more than 10,000 cats. Community cats are an underdog, and yet they still need care. Um, it's, it, they're out here because people failed them uh, and forgot them. Lisa Willie estimates that she's trapped more than a thousand felines in a TNR program helping these elusive and intriguing creatures live better, more responsible lives. Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.